Hi friends, we are delighted to have you back with us on Unveiling Buddhism. In our last episode, we delved into King Shudodana's concerns when he heard the predictions of seers during Prince Siddhartha's naming ceremony. They all envisioned a remarkable spiritual future for his son, Prince Siddhartha. King Shudodana held the aspiration that Siddhartha would ascend the throne and rule as a mighty king rather than embarking on a spiritual journey. Consequently, he meticulously orchestrated every aspect of the prince's life to shield him from any influences that might lead him toward a path of renunciation. While everyone was deeply engrossed in preparations for the young prince's future, a sudden and unexpected tragedy unfolded. On the seventh day following the prince's birth, Queen Maya tragically and unexpectedly passed away. Baby Siddhartha, only a week old, had sadly lost his mother. It's an incredibly heart-wrenching and distressing situation to lose a parent, especially at such a tender age. Questions arise in our minds. What might have been the reason for her untimely death? Did complications during childbirth lead to this tragedy? Or was it due to her last-minute journey back to her native land, Kaliya? These inquiries underscore our struggle to comprehend sudden and untimely death. While we have previously understood that Queen Maya had a smooth and healthy pregnancy, and the birth of Prince Siddhartha was without complications. It's still difficult for us to comprehend the sudden and unexpected passing of Queen Maya, just seven days after giving birth. With the insights of modern medical knowledge, we understand that new mothers can face post-labor complications that may lead to a similar tragedy occurring a week after giving birth. Surprisingly, even in today's developed nations, maternal mortality rates remain unacceptably high. It's possible that people in ancient times were unaware of these risks, which could have led them to believe that Queen Maya died without a clear course. If you find yourself pondering these questions, we share a common challenge in coming to terms with the certain loss of Queen Maya. It's undeniably heartbreaking to witness young children losing their parents. In this particular case, it's disheartening to think that Queen Maya couldn't be present to witness her beloved son's early years. We might even question, why did such a tragic event occur in the family of a blessed Buddha? Buddhist teachings tells us that the mothers of Buddhas frequently pass away early to be reborn in heavenly realms. In the case of Queen Maya, she left us a week after giving birth and was reborn as a male deity, named Santu Sita in the Tushita heaven. So Queen Maya's departure is simply the natural course of her life journey. In the later part of the Buddha's story, we learn that after attaining Buddhahood, the Buddha himself visited Deva Santu Sita to impart his teachings and with the guidance of the Buddha, Santu Sita achieved enlightenment. This progression in the story brings comfort because it means Queen Maya ascended to a superior realm and had the chance to meet the Buddha in heaven at a later time. The passing of Queen Maya imparts valuable wisdom. Her untimely death encourages us to contemplate the nature of death and its unpredictability. While Queen Maya did not pass away during childbirth, her death reminds us of the significant risks that all mothers face during pregnancy, childbirth, and postpartum. In light of this, we redirect our focus to the immense importance of mothers, parents, and the invaluable gift of human life. According to WHO, in 2020, 287,000 women lost their lives due to pregnancy and childbirth-related causes. Tragically, nearly 800 women passed away every day 
due to preventable issues during pregnancy and childbirth in that year, equating to a maternal death almost every two minutes. Buddhist teachings lovingly emphasize that Buddhas are born from women. This heartwarming insight highlights the fundamental role mothers play in the birth of enlightened beings. Regardless of our personal connections with our own mothers, it's essential to wholeheartedly acknowledge our profound debt to them. As without them, we wouldn't even have the gift of this life. In light of the knowledge we have gained from modern medicine, we now have a more profound understanding of the risks involved in both the prenatal and postnatal stages. As a result, it becomes increasingly important to recognize the enormous responsibility that mothers bear. Their duty extends beyond safeguarding their own well-being to the meticulous care of their delicate infants. A mother's love for her child is boundless and unwavering. In Buddhism, this limitless loving kindness is referred to as metta in Pali or Maitri in Sanskrit, and it plays a fundamental role in our journey toward enlightenment. This unconditional love drives a mother to devote her entire life to the welfare of her children. Beyond giving birth and nurturing, she also fulfills essential roles in teaching, protecting, inspiring, comforting, and even sacrificing her happiness for her children's sake. Mothers embody dedication and love in its purest form. Let's pause for a moment to convey our deep gratitude to all the mothers across the world for the sacrifices they make, enduring risks to bestow upon us the priceless gift of a precious human life. We love you, Mom. Wrapping up another fantastic episode of Unveiling Buddhism with a huge shout out to all the incredible moms out there. The Buddha's life stories offer reflections of our own lives in this modern era, and we hope you found them inspiring. Before you go, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay in the know. Give us a big thumbs up and share this with your friends and family. We are excited to catch you in the next episode. Until then, take care and we'll see you real soon.